More on the announcements at Apple's Far Out event. This is Mac Voices. This week's Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is an endpoint solution that uses the most powerful untapped resource in IT, end users. Learn more at collide.com slash Mac Voices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is part two on our Mac Voices live conversation about all the announcements that came out of Apple's Far Out event. The event happened just a few hours before we recorded this Mac Voices session. Let's go back and let the panel do the talking. Uh, anything else on the on the iPhone 14? We still have uh, the other two big pieces of hardware. Um, anything else that anybody yeah, wants to say? What, about, was on the display? what about satellite or emergency SOS? Yeah. Oh my God, he's kind of forget that. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Well, the, yeah, the, the price, Patrice, is maybe we'll go with that one first. And, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah. And also the always on display. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there are I a mean, whole lot of things here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the interesting thing is the rumors were that the prices would increase because of, you know, the world. And yeah. what happened is nothing. Nothing. The prices are, I mean, technically the prices, I think, increased internationally because of like, like exchange rates to the British pound and the, the, the euro and so on. But the prices are exactly the same as last year. Like mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. No change. So take that, Samsung. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else said? Oh, oh, always on uh, is another thing. Um, anybody excited over that? Or does that make a difference to anyone? Uh, sounds nice to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's nice. I mean, the watch has it, so. Okay. Yeah, I think it will come in handy. Like when you have it, like on, like, like mine is on the desk right now, and you can just see the time or see a notification or whatever, whatever we're gonna get. They didn't really go into too much detail on that one. They were like, "Oh yeah, always on display." By didn't the way, they? Yeah, yeah, they did because they they said it will, do you know, it'll adjust your any photograph you have to keep the face tone correct even though it's dimming it mm. so well, i thought they went on about it for quite a while but, but it does come to everything i think that was the thing to me that was notable about almost mm-hmm. all the new stuff we got with the 14s was uh the the satcom stuff we're going to talk about i think the always on display comes to everything uh the simulus seems to be on everything so the only thing we don't really get on the mere mortal 14 that we're going to get on the pro model aside from the camera, which was always the differentiator is uh treasure Island. So I think everything mm. else is, is on all of them, which is really, really awesome because Are you like, sure the satellite stuff it? sounds awesome. I, I wasn't, I, I, I it wasn't sure like you it. get the satellite stuff is only the pro feature. No, that's on all. I, okay. I remember that. Interesting. One. Yeah. Cause they said it's coming to everything, yeah. which was the part I was, I was glad to see. So, yeah. Yeah. And Cletus in the chat room says, I was disappointed, thought we would get a sat phone. And Kelly said, well, yeah, we kind of did. But it's a Mm -hmm. And Cletus says, yeah, it's a start. So, you know, it's... it's certain. Sorry? Physics makes that tough. You know, I think Mm -hmm. they have the most they could do. Yeah. Yeah. But if if you really need it, that's going to be a nice feature. If you're one of those crazy people out in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So um, well, it's said for two weather, years. Weather. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do you think that it resets when you get a new phone? Like, is this just a way so they aren't paying for somebody's satellite connection that's five years old? It's free There's a lot of chatter on the internet of what happens after two years. And yeah. Apple mm. said nothing. So it nobody knows. Like we'll find out in two years. Phone. That's what you're saying. Yeah. I, yeah. I would assume <laughs> it's a probably subscription. less than two years, but. <laughs> Well, maybe it becomes a service yeah. then. Apple likes services, well, but, so it will be a subscription. You know, although I, as somebody, <laughs> I thing I saw on Twitter was, imagine the headline wa- of, you know, well, they could have been saved, but they didn't extend their subscription to the satellite mm-hmm. service, so they died. Um, mm-hmm. That's uh, not a great look. No, it's not a great look, but... That escalated you know, quickly. At the same time, <laughs> yeah. Nobody even has one yeah. yet. Jeez yeah. Louise. Yeah. Well, yeah. Web... Uh, well, well, you, well, I was just saying that maybe maybe it would be more than two years is what this person was, and and maybe they're going to wait and see how much people actually use it. You know what is, you know, 
what is the cost, you know, to us going to be? I, I did mm. see that um, it's it's done through Global Star, and Global mm. Star plans to allocate allocate eighty five percent of its current and future network capacity to Apple. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's significant cost. Yeah. Yeah. So what else will it do? You know, this is just, I mean, who clearly said it's just a start. So yeah. this is well, start. I mean, yeah. as soon as Apple's check clears, they can afford a bunch more satellites, right? So it's not <laughs> gonna be a problem. They only have they only have 24, it said. Yeah. So <laughs> this is this isn't like a Starlink uh hmm. cloud. Yeah. yeah, and 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 something I wasn't a hundred percent clear on is they said it's only coming to the US and Canada, but does that mean it only is available in phones in the US and Canada, but it works worldwide, or is it only available in the US and Canada? So if you leave Good that, question. it doesn't work. Oh, I assumed it meant it only hmm. worked in the US and Canada, but maybe that was my Good assumption question. too. Yeah, because no one has horrifying skiing accidents anywhere else. No, I mean I live. <laughs> Nobody near a gets lost that... on mountains anywhere else. <laughs> uh, I live near a mountain that that eats a couple of people a year. You know, mm-hmm. I I get it, but you know, not, not have an all entire of country of that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I I sort of thought there were other parts of the world where that also happened. Mm-hmm. Can so. you have a horrible skiing accident? Are you really going to be able to stand up and hold your phone pointing at a satellite? Well, but it's look, it's well, better than it's better than nothing, Jeff. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, really. and, no, I'm, and a, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. smart it's person better. didn't go alone, so your buddy is going to be able to hold the phone. Yeah, for it, you. it's, right. it's so, still better yeah. than camping but, out on a mountain uh, for like 24 hours until someone so, realizes that you're gone. My husband. <laughs> no, no, the, I'm not. I, yeah, when when my husband was hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, he had to take a completely separate device with him that was a thing that would do GPS and basically had an SOS button on it and he had to keep it like in the pocket in his pocket all the time so that because he could occasionally like when he would stop for the night he had one button for it would send me his GPS location with a little note like this is where I am for the night so I would have you know sort of last known location and then there was also a button that was like SOS and it would contact emergency services based on his GPS location. And then it would send mm-hmm. me a message that said that he pressed the, Mr. Kelly pressed the SOS button. Here's his lat long. I don't know what else you need, you know, and there was something else I think I needed to know. He never had to push it. So I don't know what all it says, but um, he had that, that he had to take with him separately from his iPhone in a catalyst case, obviously, um, in order to, because he was using that for just the GPS information and he had all his maps loaded on there for offline use. So even if he didn't have mm-hmm. cellular service, he was still able to to navigate based on, on the information that he had. And he had, he had a battery to charge and all that kind of stuff to keep it mm-hmm. powered. But there are so many parts of Oregon, like there are uh, many places that I go regularly you know, now that that I can occasionally go to a place again, uh, where there where cell service is crap, and it doesn't matter what carrier you have, is because it is aggressively rural, and there is just bugger all there, and so it's not like you know, oh, I have reception, but I can't get Spotify to load. Like, no, nothing. There's nothing. Your phone is now a really pretty slab of glass. That's it. So the fact that that this is a thing that works, like I'm I'm glad they were showing sort of you know dramatic situations, but there are a whole lot of places where just having the ability to send someone a message, you know, is is really important. Like uh, mm-hmm. my in-laws broke down, their RV broke down, and they were 20 miles from anything resembling a place where the roadside assistance was able to help them. Like we had to take another automobile, the the other car and drive 20 miles back to where there was a bar of reception, not even two to rub together for heat, just one. So we could make the call and go, hi, here's where they actually are. Not the location of the phone I'm on. You can't talk to them where they are because there's zero reception there. But I promise this Mm -hmm. is where they are. Please send the tow truck. And it was almost impossible. And so having an option like this where it would be possible to send, I need assistance in the place where I am, even if you can't get decent cellular service is really, really great. So I'm, I'm, I was really, really happy to see that that was a thing that was going to actually be a possibility and not have to make people pay a whole nother subscription, 
you know, at least for two years anyway, um, for a thing to have to carry around and then decide which thing you're going to carry around. And do you need a great big one or, you know, those right. kinds of things. Um, okay. Um, yeah. I want to get, I want to get Webb in here. It. He's been <clears throat> been waiting very patiently. Um, oh, it's, it's not that important. The, the, the question about the, the, uh, always on display. Remember last week I said, I use a wallet type case. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to see it. So <laughs> I, I, I like it, but it's, it, it's not that important to me. Okay. You know, I care, but not that much. You know? Maybe you need a new case. Yeah, it, <laughs> maybe you get one with a flap that's clear so you can see through it and see the notifications. Well, I don't Eric, want that lighting up with notifications <laughs> in the middle of the night either. So, yeah. Yeah. Eric pointed out that widgets would be more useful if your screen was always on. And I think that's a that really made me think that might be a thing mm -hmm. that could be desperately useful. Like, I, I've actually less grumpy about it now. Thanks, Eric, because it never would have occurred to me that like yeah. a widget on the screen that I could actually use might be a a, a useful thing and not just sort of an eye roller like oh that's great yeah so, well yeah. it's not a coincidence that they customized the lock screen three months ago it's not they kind of no yeah they kind of yeah. telegraphed this and we yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one eric, that feature was very obvious <laughs> yeah eric i wanted a, a comment you made the last time we were together um about you that you do some photography with um Oh, shoot, hummingbirds. And I was curious to see what you thought about, especially the stabilization. But, you know, is is that something that's going to push you to the, the pro model? Um, the macro you just photography. The pro for, well, well, the macro photography part for flowers will definitely push me there. I've been sort of waiting because the 13 was really close for me, but it's it was a little bit too new and this feels like the S version of the 13. If they still had done, you know, the S version, like the six That's... and six S, this is like the 13 S. So I'm definitely okay. going for, for the, the, the new 14, uh, pro max. Okay. And I'll be going from an 11 and a 12 to the, to the 14. So a question I should have asked, and we'll wrap up with this, uh, the iPhone discussion that I should have asked first, who is getting what um, in the way of a new iPhone? Do you want to stick with what you're going on? Brittany, I know you're probably sticking where you are. <laughs> you're being iPhone wise, yeah. yes. That doesn't mean I have not spent any money. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll get your money next. Derek, how about you? Uh, probably going to go with the 14 uh, Pro Max. Okay. Eric, uh, you already said 14 Pro Max. Yep. Jim? And a watch. I will probably go with the Pro Max. Okay. Webb? I just pre-ordered both my 14 Pro Max uh, Pro Maxes, so. Maxon? Pre-ordered. Pre <laughs> Yeah, like what's oxen. what's the plural? What's the plural of Max? Yeah. I think yeah. it's like oxen, so it would be pro maxen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, how about you? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I, obviously, I want a 14 Pro, um, but I want one in a color, and uh, I have to also uh, consult with my financial advisor and find out how advisable this is. And uh, he's probably going mm -hmm. to say no, so we're going to have to figure something out. Okay. By the way, that's you, the you can take them. Yeah. yeah, that's the first time that the word oxen has ever been uttered on Mac Voices. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Kelly we've talked about coveting them in the past. It has uh, to have come up between Jeff and I, I assure you. I don't know. Patrice? Um, probably a purple Pro Max. Okay. And I say probably because I'm not 100% because I have a 13, but I, I think I'm going to get it. So it's not the color that's in doubt. It's the whether you actually make do the mm -hmm. upgrade. Okay. Yeah. Andrew? You know, uh, like I, I mentioned the last time I was on, I'm going, I think I'm going to go in the opposite, opposite direction and get the iPhone 14 regular. Um, I have the 13 Pro and... The way I see it, um, all these these last couple um, iPhone releases are pretty similar. So the only thing I think I'm really missing out on is this uh, the macro part of the lens, which is great. In the past, I used to use a lot of macro uh, 
photography, but I don't really do that a lot anymore. Um, my, my main thing is the, the pro is just so dang heavy. I'm a millennial. I, I'm on my phone all the time and I need a lighter aluminum model, I think. <laughs> you, you guys, I think Andrew's been taken over by an alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a possibility. Yeah. David, you, you winked out for a second, so now you've repositioned yourself on my screen, so you get the last word. Uh, which, right. iPhone, which iPhone? I had, to, had to step away. 14 Pro Max, and I've already pre-ordered my pre-order. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we still got a lot of a lot, of, a lot to go here. I guess the next up is the Apple Watch. Um, with the Apple Watch and the Apple Watch Ultra. Um, and I, I will say this, you know, the the uh, the testimonials i thought i couldn't it had to remind me of the story i told a few weeks ago here on the show uh my my story about receiving a fall notification and so you know it, it those things really do happen and i'm delighted to see on the se side that it looks like a lot of the the health features have been taken down to a really really affordable mm -hmm. level yeah so if if you if you aren't look if you haven't been looking at an apple watch up to this point for health and safety reasons, now is the time, baby. Get out there and do it. Please. Please. Yeah. So beyond that, um, you know, thoughts, uh, what what turned your head about the new Apple Watches? That oh. new band? Yeah, those new bands are pretty, <laughs> they're ultra, they're pretty, well, pretty amazing. <laughs> I have a Series 7, so I don't think I'm going to get a new watch. And what I have, I really love, but that that new uh, rubbery whatever it is band uh, looks really awesome. So I'm I am interested in that. I thought the Ultra was really neat. A friend of mine uh, described it as the Range Rover of Apple Watch, which is <laughs> to say like it's super durable and it's meant to go out in the mountains and get covered in dirt and mud. And most people who buy them will never do that because they spent so much money on it and they can't <laughs> fix it anyway. So yeah. yeah. I, I I mean and, I'm, I'm so, uh, I, oh go ahead Jim sorry. Well I I, I just saw uh, somebody on Twitter that apparently is a you know outdoor expert enthusiast and all those you know uses the Garmin devices now and stuff like that and and he was saying you know no serious mountaineer slash outdoor person would even look at this, mm. um, but mm. I think they'll sell a ton of them. Oh, at that um, price point, just seven like, ninety nine across the board. Just like, ah. Yeah, just like just like Range Rovers, and most of them mm -hmm. won't get very far into extreme <laughs> conditions. Mm -hmm. By yeah, the but, way, the the bands will, will work with the uh, the other iPhone uh, mm -hmm. Apple watches. That's they work with the but iPhones I mean, too. And the iPhones, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. No, the Apple Watch. It makes watch, sense. The, the new, watch. the new Ultra is a slab of technology mm -hmm. to strap. Yeah, on. I'm really curious to see what that looks like in person. Uh, uh, the, the pictures I've seen, it looks just too big. It's but... massive. It, I mean, massive. on my tiny wrist, it wouldn't work. Um, but the thing is, I mean, Apple, I knew Apple would go for like let's show extremes, let's show the extreme yeah. athletes that would use it. But I think there is a pretty decent market of like people are training for their first marathon or training for their whatever the first like whatever they're doing um that would totally go for this and and they maybe don't need the extreme conditions and don't like go there every day but they still get the benefit out of out of a watch that doesn't break after five minutes so yeah i think for a marathon it's still, i mean this guy was talking about was a mountaineer so he's like mm. you know i need to run the gps for days on end without having to charge well you know you're not going to do that with a little thing on your wrist like that mm -hmm. right. um not unless apple, you have a battery with you yeah our apple novice has has thoughts Derek, <laughs> jump in here <laughs> uh, i work with a gentleman who's i guess you would call him a big and tall uh, he can't wear any kind of smartwatch because whenever he puts one on, even the biggest size looks like a kid's watch on his wrist. It's so big. So, I mean, uh, maybe they ought to think about making bigger ones for different size people. We're not all shaped the same. Well, maybe mm -hmm. this is perfect for him. Well, the Ultra mm -hmm. will be very happy on his arm. 
<laughs> no, it's no. still too small. The screen's too small still. Yeah. It hadn't occurred to me that they were possibly missing something in the lineup till he made that observation. Well, wow. it comes in bigger sizes, I think, than even the the eight. I think the bands work the same, but there's more screen acreage on the ultra, I think, than there is on the yeah, on and, the eight. Five, 40, five, 49 millimeters. Five millimeters more. Yeah. yeah. So, so not, and it's not thicker. Yeah, not dramatic, but it would certainly mm, not look more, quite so toy like on his arm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. It yeah, definitely like the photos I've seen from the, the press area, it looks very chunky. Mm. Yeah. It has yeah, a weird looking too. design, in my opinion. I, I predict we're all gonna get to have seen lots of them by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So oh, on people who it. never leave the house. Yeah, I so, love it, but I would drag my arm behind me, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's titanium, so they're saying yeah, it's more, light. you know, another mm-hmm. another pair of $500 wheels just so I can drag my arm behind me with the Ultra Watch on it. Okay, there was, so there was people in their hands on that idea. said it was light. <laughs> Today's Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is an endpoint security solution that uses the most powerful untapped resource in IT, end users. Old-school device management tools like MDMs force disruptive agents onto employee devices that slow performance and treat privacy as an afterthought. Collide does things differently. Instead of forcing changes on users, Collide notifies your team via Slack when their devices are insecure and gives them step-by-step instructions on how to solve the problem. By reaching out to employees via a friendly Slack message and educating them about company policies, Collide can help you build a culture in which everyone contributes to security because everyone understands how and why to do it. That makes for a stronger security now and a stronger security future. You can meet your compliance goals by putting users first. Visit collide.com slash macvoices to find out how. That's collide, K-O-L-I-D-E dot com slash macvoices. Thanks to Collide for supporting this edition of Mac Voices. Is is anybody here planning on getting an ultra? We have any no. ultra takers? No. No, okay. I'm not. I, I, I don't think this might. is the panel for it. I'm, I'm Miss, not going to order Mr. one Kelly. now, but <laughs> we don't meet the demographic. I might. Really, I'll Jeff. take. Why? Because um, it matches well, his Range know, Rover. <laughs> because I've got, I've got I've got a watch four right now, so I'm I'm about due, and. You know, for the cellular model, it's only 300 more than than the other one. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, the longer yes. battery life and um, the extra you know, button. The, the the extra button. button. Did, did you guys see that that button can trigger shortcuts? Can, mm-hmm. Brittany, yeah. Yeah. Well, that? now, Brit- now Brittany's <laughs> getting one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. So, Kelly might. I, you know, so my, I, my I, house I, might not, get one. I'm, I'm I'm not you know ordering one now, um, but I wouldn't. I'm not ruling it out that I'm that I might. I, I want to see it, and you know, and I don't need a watch right now. I'm I'm still okay with you know. I'm going to get the phone, so that's enough for now. But you know, maybe eventually. I I, I, I you know I I don't know. I mean, I, I'd also might see it and go like, oh, that's way too big, and I wear it, you know to bed you know for sleep tracking and everything so i'm wearing it all day and night so maybe it's just too big i don't know but i i was surprised that it was only 7.99 when they got to the price i was like yeah. really i couldn't believe it was a three-digit number at all and then to not start mm-hmm. with yeah. nine was even yeah. more surprising mm-hmm. yeah yeah people People were saying in our chat were saying nine ninety nine. I'm like, okay, that means it's at least twelve forty nine. Because if you yeah, think it's right. nine ninety nine, yeah. it's twelve forty nine. Um, David, clarify though uh, your comment earlier about the watch bands. There was so much uh, smoke and fire about uh, you know the watch bands might not fit or might fit. So the are the watch bands all the same? I mean, will existing watch bands fit not only the eight but also the ultra? Yes. They, they there was a story I I found that that does confirm that the uh, the the ultra bands would work on a series eight or anything below that really because it's uh, that they're the same size bands. Okay, well there you go, Kelly. You can get the band without the okay. without the watch. All right, now I'm happy. There's an idea, but yeah, m- but Mr. Kelly might actually get one because the 
the wilderness and stuff. And again, one less device. And then if he just wore his watch out in the wilderness, he'd be, you know, that would be, that would be more than enough tracking and coverage and everything. So that might be a good solution for him instead of continuing to pay for uh, the subscription for the the little magicker I was talking about earlier. So mm. Brian in the chat room says the battery life alone might be worth it to some to pick up the ultra model. And I mean, it, I mean there's no question. I think there's going to be people picking up this watch only just that just because they could have it. It's not I don't think they're well, going to yeah. use a lot of the features that that Apple showed today that that they're that are very fitness oriented. I'm not fitness oriented so and mm-hmm. not you know not going to be hiking or any a lot of the adventurous stuff. But I mean to be able to go 130 feet underwater using doing scuba diving is pretty impressive. I, I was impressed mm-hmm. with a lot of that stuff, but I think the styling in itself, I think people like big, I mean, it, it looks bigger. It may not necessarily be bigger, but it does look bigger than, uh, than what the, what the, the, the 45 millimeter is now, just as far as it's visual. So that's why I was surprised you guys were saying, you know, I'm a pretty, I'm a big guy. So, and I have the 45 millimeter watch and it doesn't look too bad on my wrist. Uh, that the uh, you wouldn't think that the ultra may may fit that person. I'm curious how thick it is too. Yeah, yeah. Just mm-hmm. from the just from the images, it looks you know a lot. I mean, I would say mm-hmm. probably some, yeah. uh, maybe another inch or so bigger. Inch. Hmm. I like half an inch. Yeah. I I don't know. I I maybe mean, I was at, at first I was surprised at how much time they were spending on the ultra. Um, and then, you know, I realized that, yeah, there are going to be the people out there that need it, but mm-hmm. there are going to be the people then that want to be perceived as needing it or using it. Mm-hmm. I mean, just yeah, like the, they, they did use this, the word aspirational at one point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean that, that's a typical Apple thing. Like show show the, the high end, the far out, the, the, the crazy thing. And then, then people will look at it and say, OK, I don't need that. But actually, there is an, an, an Echo Watch 8 that might be interesting now. Well, and how many people do you know that walk around with, you know, the super high end watches, the chronometers and everything? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they don't even know how to work the chronometer, but, you know, they, they want it on their wrist because it looks good. True. And so, you know, I, <laughs> and this is a lot more practical than a $17,000 gold watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> but yeah. speaking of a $17,000 watch, did anybody notice the strong James Bond vibe in the music they were playing behind the Apple Watch Ultra? Oh sure, yeah. I mean it's a gadget. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. What one one That's feature funny. that I I thought was was really interesting um, was the ability to make the watch face red. You know, yeah. you just turn it red for easy night viewing. That was a, yeah. that was a really nice feature. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, I, I have I, to do that by hand. I built a custom face for that so that I have it for yeah the movies yeah. and nighttime and stuff. So, but. The other thing that surprised me, they, they didn't spend a lot of time on it, but they did mention that the watch has a better audio system. They added a second speaker and three mics. So yeah. I guess, you know, this makes a certain amount of sense if you're out there in the wild and the wind is howling and you need to be talking to somebody. And that alarm. Yeah, that I was just yeah. going to yeah. say that's that's part of their new emergency siren feature. Right. Yeah. and that. I mean that that could be very valuable. Mm-hmm. Should, that could be know. valuable just for normal people, let alone mm-hmm. you know yeah. the crazy adventurers. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, w- yeah. I was dis- I was disappointed that the thermometer only has one application. Um, no, they no, just spent it more doesn't. time on that one. Yeah. yeah, they they seem pretty clear that you know it's for cycle tracking. It, no, it, it, no, what it's intended to do is show your base difference, and that can in, it, it can indicate that you have an infection if it raises. It can indicate a lot of things, but they are disrupting a huge issue slash crappy market in this. As someone who has been doing basal body temperature checking, which is what it's called, for about three years, um, I don't have to wake up and... I can't drink anything. I can't get up. I have to remember to put a thermometer in my mouth immediately. Like this is a huge deal. Well, I'm not saying that's substitute. not a valuable market. It is, but it, you great, can use it I... for other things. Yeah, exactly. Are you sure? Are yeah, you they sure? mentioned oh, yeah. that in the they because, mentioned because, that in, because the, there in was... the video. Yeah, it's yeah. just a they, sensor. Yeah, but they're highlighting yeah, it for but, women's but health I, because they're so proud of. Stuff. of 
I've seen a, a lot of stuff in, in advance of why there wouldn't be a temperature sensor because it's so difficult on the wrist to get an accurate measurement. And so my, why... my take was they can only do the relative thing. So it's really only yes. good for cycle tracking. Relative not, is useful you know, for more than just cycle tracking though. Mm -hmm. um, and like they showed the chart and what it shows is not a temperature number, but a baseline and an amount yeah. above or below that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, so if you get changed. sick, for example, if you have an infection, I don't know if you've noticed, but your your, your heart rate, for example, goes up mm -hmm. and your temperature will go up. Yeah. And that you can tell, and that is helpful. And the, the but not enough to give you a fever. The magic. It's, mm -hmm. it's a very, very subtle amount, which is why you need tons of measurements and often while you're asleep in order to get well, that kind I hope of you guys, information. I hope you guys are... Up. Yeah, see, that was part of what they, they said. They mentioned it, like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. so... You know, yeah. they, they were so strong on it that my impression was it's not really useful no. for anything they, else. But they, they showed I, it I, I hope you guys are right. Yeah. Well, a sensor is a sensor. That's I mean, it's that's... also important even if it wasn't um, for mm -hmm. anything else. But it is. Yeah. Like but... every other product that offers to do this while you're sleeping that you wear all night is really expensive. Doesn't do a very good job, and it won't connect to Apple Health. Plus, what are their privacy? Can like, do I trust them with my private data? And the answer is probably no. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's actually a gigantic and disruptor. And also, maybe between that and your increased heart rate, you might know when you have an infection coming. Yeah, the the mm -hmm. fluctuation is the thing it's going to measure for you. So it's not going to tell you every morning. Yeah. Hello, you're ninety eight six again today. Oh, you're ninety eight four. Like, <laughs> no, that's that's not what they're looking for. But also, uh, like Brittany said, you can track all kinds of other stuff. But Apple is highlighting this because uh, if anybody remembers back to the initial unveilings of early iterations of Apple Watch, they would have women out there on stage going, I wear an Apple Watch when I run marathons and I do this and I do that. And it's so amazing. And there was no cycle tracking information in the health app at all in any way. And I feel like they accidentally ended up hiring a couple of women who were like, <laughs> could you do this one basic thing for literally no, every the, woman with indoor plumbing in the, the world? No, would you? It's not they hard. Did is they, they put a woman in charge of the health features. And I've now all her. of a She's sudden awesome. I can track stuff. And it's <laughs> encrypted and nobody can get to it unless I say so. And there's a whole conversation to be had about what happens to the cycle tracking data that people are using. And uh, it's the kind of thing that, uh, like it or not, Andrew and I would have talked about on a Friday back in the day. And yep. Because it's important and it matters and your data should be yours. And a lot of companies who purported to be it, to take that stance were not actually, in fact, mm -hmm. taking that stance. And so for Apple to not only add it, but put it under all of the same sort of lock and key that all the rest of your data is under, which means if you back it up, that might be a problem, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure you encrypt and all of that. Go listen to Andrew and I talk about Security Friday and you'll you're it's all well covered, but those are the sorts of things that, that are really important. And so Apple is throwing out their shoulder. Where's the sensor for that? Patting themselves on the back for what it is they've finally done, you know, even though it's a thing that, that should have been there from the get go, especially as they continued to bring women out on stage to talk about mm -hmm. how great this thing was. I, I was, I was wondering if there's a way to tell it not to collect the data at all. Um, yeah, because you don't oh, turn so. it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, well, with the I'm heart not rate. sure about that. I don't think. Can you do that with the heart rate right now? Yeah, you have okay. to go through a I've bunch of steps it. to turn it on <laughs> because you have to say, "I understand my watch is not a doctor. I understand my watch is not giving me medical advice. I understand my I watch is that. not." I, well, I did not. But that's do that. different. But that's that's a different different direction. That is when you want to enable the the heart rate notification. On. But I think mm -hmm. the the Apple Watch is collecting the heart rate data whether they want it or not. Yeah, I, I didn't I, think it. I, I don't was. remember I any toggle anywhere that turns it off completely. I thought I, I had to wrong. agree to things when I set it up in the first place, even before I did the the ECG and all of that. Uh, I thought I had to. That tell is it it for okay just for heart rate notifications. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That I know. <laughs> um, crash detection. Um, both for iPhone and, and watch. Um, this is just, I mean, it's an enhanced fall detection, but it seems like an awfully, not awfully nice feature. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that Car just, yeah. It, and, and that one feels like, okay, they just tweaked the sensor or two and tweak the notifications, but still 
It's a great. It's a great. It sounded song. like they added new sensors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe they did. Maybe and, they had to. Yeah, enhancement. I, I, yeah. What I want is the iPhone mount that they used in that crash video at the end, where the whole car flips <laughs> over and 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 crashes and goes the upside phone. down, and that phone is just rock solid sitting just there. there like, hey. I am I am fine. I have not you know missed a beat. <laughs> Yeah, that that's a mag safe that, uh, they, that you can't wear if, or use if you have uh, yeah. pacemakers. You know, it'll pull them right out of your chest. Oh man, um, I got okay. dark quickly. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let's see what else. Crash detection. Oh, family setup. Um, you know, I need this, to know all about this immediately. Yeah, th- and I have I have no use for this, but I thought it was really interesting that you'll be able to pair the the way it sounded like you'll be able to pair your kids' watches so they can make phone calls through your That's iPhone. That's not new. That's Isn't not it? new. I okay. was hoping to hear more about the iteration, like the 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 new version of family setup that it was going to be even more independent, but they didn't really spend any time on that, so I feel like maybe it didn't change. But um, yeah, they're go ahead. They just they just have a watch that's you know here's the affordable watch to get by your kids that you yeah. can use with this family setup that we already have. Yeah, and I didn't spend a lot of time on family setup in the first place because uh, the only person I know who would have an Apple Watch that doesn't have an iPhone of their own is my dad. And now that my dad uh, has had a, a a uh, mild cardiac issue and, you know, which resulted in triple bypass surgery. Uh, He was a physical therapy not long ago and was asking his physical therapist about her watch. And she was telling him all the great things it does because it's got heart rate and it does this and it does that and it does the other thing and you can get your text messages on it and all this stuff. And so he called me and asked about it. And I'm like, did she have a round one or a square one? And he said it was square. And I said, I got bad news for you, dad. I think this is going to end up being... One of those things where I tell you, if you had the right phone, we wouldn't have to have this conversation. You would already have one. But he's thinking about it. And and I'm thinking about trying to see if family setup is a, a, a viable option for getting him set up on something that would actually be able to track all of that. You know, fall detection, um, heart rate, you know, and the alerts and all that kind of stuff. And do a much better job of monitoring physical activity because that's the other thing he has to do. So, well, he may be a candidate for an SE. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. So, what I didn't find out, what I couldn't tell from the SE, I went through the comparison and couldn't really see if it will do the ECG as well. Like you have the event and you, you know, stand there and do the measurement. I don't know if the SE has that or not because it'll do like the heart rate alerts, but I don't know if it does the um, the the ECG option as well. If it's got the extra sensors for that, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so to wrap up this this section, um, who's going to upgrade their Apple Watches? Okay, Brittany. <laughs> and, and, but, and, and, yeah, oh, and, and Patrice. Um, Patrice um, by and the way, here. I checked. In the privacy settings, you can turn it off. I found it. So you can turn off all the, the data connection. Oh, privacy. Oh, good. It's in privacy. It makes no sense. But okay, that's Apple yeah. settings. But there it is. Okay. <laughs> So Eric, I will you're, probably you're, get a new watch before Jim, the end of the year. Okay, Eric, how about you? You you said yes. Yeah, yeah, I've got a six. The the rapid charging on on mm-hmm. uh, eight. I think it was on the seven too. It is something it is. so I can charge my watch in the couple minutes I have while I'm getting ready for bed, so it works with sleep tracking. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I didn't see David or or Andrew. You guys doing any um, upgrades? I'm gonna wait. I may to I may do it towards the end of the year, seeing where things go. But. Sure, David. We've we've heard that's from you before. Yeah. I waited on this um, one for a few months. So yeah. Yeah. Andrew? Hey, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Andrew, go Andrew. ahead. Yeah, Andrew, you up um, upgraded? You know, I'm not looking to upgrade my Apple Watch. I do have the Series Seven, and there was a period of time where I was like wearing it every day, but that kind of lapsed again, and it's just in my in my desk for the meantime. <laughs> Okay. Web? Oh, I, I have a seven. Uh, I'll go another year. I'm very happy with this watch right now. So um, I don't feel the need to upgrade it as opposed to being on the, the iPhone upgrade program where I'm just automatically upgrade the phone, but I'm not going to do the, the watch yet. Okay. Got it. Got it. 
And I, Derek, I saw you almost fall over when Brittany said she was. Are you uh, upgrading or? No, I was just falling over because I think she just likes to spend money at Apple. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. We oh, all Derek, she, she it's so like you've ever met her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I tell her I'm buying a new, a new computer, and she goes, no, 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 wait, I'll do it for you. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, that means she's a really good friend to do that for you. Yeah. How do I get to be You don't know what he went friend? through for that. That's true. <laughs> I, I want to be an FOB, friend of Brittany. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, you don't want to know what the payment plan looks like, Chuck. <laughs> she might drag you to Enchanted Forest. That was a little bit of torture. Uh, <laughs> but that's only because I work at a big theme park, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it was kind of weird to see how the smaller theme parks work. A mere mortal theme park, as it were. A little painful, too, especially when we rode that bobsled ride, Kelly. <laughs> Save it for after dark. <laughs> That's definitely a story for after dark. I shan't. Tell that right. The panel wraps up our conversation about all of the announcements that came out of Apple's far out event. That's next time on Mac Voices, and I hope to see you then. Until then, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page. And get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices, or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.